So here we have the SOVHorror.com website. Uh, this site here is in a little bit of danger of shutting down, which is really unfortunate because they offer a lot of stuff for us fucking indie fans here. So this is their main front page, which gives you a rundown of uh, what they're selling. You've got trailers and reviews and all that fun shit. Uh, on the side, you got quick glimpses of movies they have for sale. There's my buddy, Gorefilth's tape. I highly suggest that one. Uh, this is their latest, Horror Girl. Kick-ass cover art right there. Uh, and here is your main store. got movies and you've got other merch you got pins and t-shirts and cups hoodies all that fun shit uh, da, 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 what do we have here so we have shirts for Zombarella's house of horrors we've got SOV pillows and shirts we got their kick-ass logo on a sticker and on a shirt um, Metal Noir, Purveyors of Blood, fucking poster too, 18 by 24. The prices are actually pretty damn good too, which is a, a nice change of pace for merch because most merch is stupidly expensive. And here we have all of their movies uh, being sold through Kanaki. So basically, you just throw your. Uh, how many of each film you want in there throw in uh, basics for your uh, address up there calculate shipping and you're done uh, shockingly I did a mock-up sale earlier and for like eight or nine movies shipping to Canada was only 33 bucks which is insanely good Considering a lot of these motherfuckers out there are trying to charge me 20 to 25 USD for a single goddamn disc. Uh, this just again showing off all their releases. Dangleberries. How can you pass that up? <laughs> you click on that, it takes you to the trailer, special features, runtime, all that fun stuff. And their movies are cheap too they're like 13 to 15 dollars which is amazing and then up here as well we've got a section called the true independence uh, which is a web series that you can watch on their site uh, we've got SOV and beers where Tony talks about horror and drinks beer <laughs> Um, then we've got interviews with indie film directors, uh, their podcast here. Uh, da -da -da. What's this? I haven't checked this one out yet. SOBs who love SOV. <laughs> we got Redneck Zombies. I'll just skip episode 14. I don't give a shit about that one. Uh, Body Count, Satan's Storybook, Wood Chipper Massacre. All sorts of fun shit. Cannibal Camp Out. Some cool shit there. Uh, what do we have? B Movie Madness. Uh, just again, it's uh, more review videos posted on the website, so that's pretty cool. So you know what you're getting into when you order the stuff. You don't have to go in blind. Uh, I do enjoy some blind buys here and there, but. I have been burned in the past, like with fucking um, El Gore's snuff anthology. That was bullshit. So I appreciate them doing the reviews and the trailers there. So again, you can get an idea of what you're in for. Uh, more reviews. This looks like it's going to be the written reviews for those of you who don't like videos. And we got more interviews. 
uh, got articles about the indie scene so that's pretty cool cannibal hookers um, and we have like their manifesto on why they created what they did and all that cool shit all right so i just wanted to make this video to get the word out about sovhorror.com for those who haven't heard of it um, like i said near the beginning they are in danger of shutting down right now uh, slowness of sales and all that and it really sucks because if they go down that's just another independent shop shut and we're stuck with more mainstream shops for the movies and to be frank like most of the movies we love in the genre of horror and extreme horror there's not a lot of options out there to get reasonably priced independent film made by people who actually give a shit about horror movies uh, they're not just cash grabs these are low budget films shot with shit they have around the house and they're made with pure love unlike other films out there in horror that are just trying to take our money from us and promise us blood guts and tits and barely deliver on that shit um, yeah, and their films are cheap. They're 13 to $15. Really reasonable shipping. So, I know times are tough for everyone. And you got to really try and justify spending money on entertainment when you need the necessities. But an argument can be made that these movies are a necessity everyone needs an escape from all the bullshit that's going on around the world right now these films will deliver it so if you have 20 bucks lying around visit their website and order a couple films let's help keep these guys floating um, Everybody that's not into horror thinks we're all just a bunch of fucking blood drinking, Satan worshipping fuckheads. So let's show those motherfuckers that we are a true community and we give a fuck about each other. And let's just help keep these guys afloat, folks. Tony's a cool dude. Um, especially like putting a site like this together man how can you not fucking respect the dude like kudos Tony fucking appreciate ya fucking gore filth man I I just gotta say thanks for putting me on man like I think you're the first person I ever saw mention this website and I appreciate that man keep spreading the word um I can't do shit on Facebook right now because those fucking cucks banned me yet again. All for making fun of fucking that piece of shit Seth Rogen called him a mongoloid. And I get banned. Meanwhile, I'm in the Gorepunks comments the night before calling this dumb fuck a stupid cunt and no repercussions. But heaven forbid I make fun of a Hollywood elite. Fuck you, Seth Rogen. I know you're not watching it, but I just fucking hate you. <laughs> um, anyways, enough of that. SOVHorror.com. At the very least, just check the site out. I'm sure you'll find something in there that piques your interest. And all in all, let's just keep these motherfuckers floating, all right? Uh, fuck, I think this is my first serious video, too. Ugh. <laughs> I'll be back eventually with reviews um, unboxings again they're they're going to be extremely limited with 
the cost of shipping to Canada just constantly going up and up and up. It's just it's fucking retarded to keep buying shit right now from bigger companies, but once I get a little money pulled in, I'm probably going to pull the trigger on that eight movie order that I have planned. Um, I'm fucking dying to see some of these flicks like Horror Girl, um, Slumber Party Murder Mania, Deck the Halls, Blood Orgy of the Leather Girls, Bloody Red Lips of Blood, Mr. Ice Cream Man, Dead Teenagers. Who doesn't love dead teenagers? They're the perfect fodder for our films. Uh, Die Q, Death of Lantern, Zombarella's House of Horrors. You know me, you know I need that fucking movie. Uh, Stoinky Beach. I have no fucking idea what that even means. Uh, 1986, the leather is hot and the babes are wet. Join Lance, Lucas, Rick, and Wheels as they head on down to the coolest beach around, Stoinky Beach. And a lot right there. <laughs> All right, you know what? You piqued my interest. I might throw that on too. Happy holidays, purveyors of blood, all sorts of crazy shit, folks. So let's all fucking order some fucking sleazy SOV horror. And I think that's going to wrap this up. Thanks for fucking watching. Stay sleazy. Peace.